Hi everyone. Now we are discussing the purchase requisition release procedure with item value. Here we use only three characteristics, plant, purchase group, and total value of item. Start our configuration with the communication structure. CBN. Go to transaction code SE11. Enter the database table name CBAN and click display. Note down the plant purchasing group and total value of the item. Now go to SAP Easy Access menu. Select the cross application folder. Go to the classification system folder and the master data. Here select the characteristics. Now enter the new characteristics name. And create. Go to the additional data tab and fill in the communication structure name CBAN and field name WERKS. Continue with the ABAP dictionary message. Come back to the basic data tab. The system automatically filled in the character, status, and everything. Now select the value assignment. If you select multiple values, the same release strategy we can use multiple plants. Finally, go to the values tab here. Enter the plant code and save it. In the same way, we have to create purchase group characteristics. Give the new name and create. Go to the additional data tab. Here fill in the table name and field name EKGRP. Continue with the ABAP dictionary message. Come back to the basic data tab the system automatically. Filled in the character, status and everything. Now select the value assignment as per our requirement. Go to the values tab here, enter the purchasing group codes. and save this characteristic. Now, create the item. Value characteristic. Give the new name and create. Go to the additional data tab and enter the communication table name and field name GSWRT. Continue with the ABAP dictionary message. Now the system will ask for the currency. So enter our currency. Now go to the value assignment, here select a single value and intervals allowed, it is very important, then only we can enter the intermediate values. Now go to the values tab, here enter our values with intervals. I am entering 3 values with intervals, less than 1000 Malaysian ringgits, 1001 to 10,000 Malaysian ringgits, greater than 10,001 Malaysian ringgits, finally. Save this characteristic. Now, assign these three characteristics to one class. Transaction code CL02. Enter the new class name. Class type 032 for release strategy and create. Fill in the description. Now go to the characteristic tab and enter characteristics names, what we created for plant, purchase group, and total item value. and save the details. Now go to SPRO Materials Management, Purchasing Configuration, Transaction Code OLME. Here select the Purchase Requisition, Release Procedure. Go to Set a Procedure with Classification. Execute and select the Release Group. Select New Entries. Here enter the new Release Group Code and our created class name. 
Description Here and check the overall release indicator. It is very important. Because now we configure the item level release procedure. Save and come back. Go to release code. Select new entries. And give the new release code combined with our release group. Here I am using a three-level approval matrix. Like materials department manager, assistant general manager and general manager. Save these release codes. So I have to create three release codes. 01, 02 and 03 respectively. Save and come back. Come back and select the release indicator. Here select the release ID for release. Now we can assign the changeability of purchasing document during or after the release, based on our requirements. Here I am choosing number 4. Changeable new release in case of new strategy or values change. Save and come back. Now go to the blocked indicator. Here no need to assign anything. Select release strategies. Go to new entries. Here enters our created release group G1 and give the new name S1. We are configuring this strategy less than 1000 Malaysian ringgits. It means zero to 1000. Actually, this release code doesn't have any predecessor. Here no need to assign the remaining release codes. Now. Select our created release code 01. Go to the release status tab. Check the release ID for blocked and released. Now go to classification. Here we can assign characteristics values. Plant 6600. Purchasing group 600. The total item value is 0 to 1000 Malaysian ringgits. Come back and save. These details are not transported to other systems like quality and production. Only by manual entries in CL20N. Now, go to simulation here we can check our release strategy. Now, we have to create a second strategy. Come back and select the new entries. Here select our created release group G1 and give the new name S2 for 1001 to 10,000 Malaysian ringgits. This item value has two release codes, 01 and 02. Go to the release prerequisites tab. Actually, this release code has one predecessor so it has one checkbox enable it. Now go to release statuses and fix the release indicators for these release codes. Here released indicator is enabled at only both release. Codes will approve. Now go to classification, here we can assign characteristics values. Plant 6600. Purchasing group 600. The total item value is 1001 to 10,000 Malaysian ringgits. Don't select multiple values, your screen shows only testing purposes. Come back, and save. Now go to simulation here we can check our release strategy. Now, we have to create a third strategy. Come back and select a new entries. Here select our created release group G1 
and give the new name S3 for more than 10,000 Malaysian ringgits. This item value has three release codes, 0102 and 03. Drop down and enable all these three codes. Go to the Release Prerequisites tab. Actually, this release code has two predecessor. So it has three checkboxes, enable it. Now go to Release Statuses and fix the release indicators for these release codes. Here Release Indicator is enabled that all release codes will approve. Now go to Classification, here we can assign characteristics values. Plant 6600. Purchasing Group 600. The total item value is more than 10,001 Malaysian ringgits. Don't select multiple values, your screen shows only testing purposes. Come back and save. These details are not transported to other systems like quality or production. Only by manual entries in CL20N. Now, go to simulation here we can check our release strategy. For your information, item value characteristics. Go to a value assignment and change from multiple to single. Save it. And come back to the release strategy. Go to the classification and select the item value. The multiple entry selection checkbox is replaced by the single entry radio button. Now go to Purchasing Configuration page. Transaction code OLME. Go to Purchase Requisition. Here select our Purchase Requisition document type. I am using Standard Type NB. Here uncheck the Overall Release Indicator. Why because we are using Item Level Release Configuration. Save this process, it is very important. Now assign objects to classes. Transaction code CL20N. Here enter the release group G1, and the three release strategies S1, S2, and S3, one by one, and save it. The system shows the classification status in green. The configuration part is over. Now create the purchase requisition, the transaction code ME51N. Enter material details plant and purchase group. Now, the system shows the release strategies. In item details why because, we configured an item level release. Now, I increase the purchase requisition value, by using the quantity. Based on this release strategy will change. It is very clearly visible. For testing purposes, I add one more material.
but this material value is less than 1000 Malaysian ringgits, so only one release code is enabled. Save this document. Go to transaction code ME54N for releasing the purchase requisition. Here, select the status tab. The system shows in release. Go to the release strategy tab and execute the release process. Now the first line item is released. Select the second line item and release it the same way. Now go to the status tab. It shows release completed, and the release indicator, ID and color also changed from XTOR. Save the document.